Mr. Musk is a wealthy internet entrepreneur who has vowed to revolutionize space exploration. SpaceX, uh, Tesla, now you've got Solar City and the solar pack that people put in their houses. Tesla is another revolutionary idea from the mind of Elon Musk. So do you, do you want to see the car? Yeah! From the renovation idea on Tesla to launching the airspace company and sending rockets to space, Elon Musk is no stranger to ambitious boundaries pushing ideas, but his newest venture may be his most startling. He has found the ultimate sustainable living dream house. He recently unveiled a new tiny house, and since then it's been making headlines because the housing concept hasn't been seen anywhere. It's a perfect blend of cutting-edge technology and sustainability. What is the house made up of? How affordable is the house? Join us as we discuss Elon Musk releasing his new Tesla house today. The Tesla Home. Elon Musk revealed his plan for Tesla's newest project, a breathtaking house created for sustainable living. This jaw-dropping project sends shocking waves through the innovation industry because the specs of the house are pretty unreal. The Tesla Home is a prefabricated reliable housing concept created by Elon Musk company, Tesla. The housing will be equipped with modern facilities and advanced technology. According to Musk, the home will be built with block construction providing maximum protection from hurricanes, forced winds, and other natural hazards. He also mentioned concrete that resists mold growth will be used to offer a thermal-friendly material. The home's outside structure will include impact-resistant windows and doors to ensure security during natural disasters. It will also act as a sound barrier that reduces outside noise by 50%. For extra protection against natural hazards, the home will use CBS block, construction of steel-reinforced monolithic slab foundations, and a rain catchment water system for the overall exterior design. Musk specified that there would be pavers, an eight-foot garage door, a lightly textured stucco, finished marble pavers in a covered patio, and a custom-designed pool. All this would be enclosed by a fully fenced yard lush landscaping and exterior LED lighting. The interior promises to be more of a game changer with its designed flooring choices, insulation, and low voice designer paint colors. The whole house will be more technologically advanced with both fully wired and wireless technology insulated. It will incorporate power storage systems, EV ready garages with wireless charging protonet, AMX Crestron control systems, Google Nest smart appliances, and a less than 30 kilowatt solar system. It also includes water furnace geothermal freesat catchment systems, close loop private network switched ceiling pre-wires outlets, a home run wiring, and a wireless alarm system. The house comes with its energy for the equipment. It's equipped with solar energy and renewable power sources for its appliances, so no need to worry about electricity bills. The rooms are excellent. The kitchen will be made with custom open kitchen designs, all wood kitchen cabinets, stone countertops, stainless steel appliances, LED lighting, and custom tile backsplashes. The bathroom will have specifically designed fixtures flooring and wall tiles, cabinetry soaker tubs, frameless mirrors, oversized sinks, elongated toilets, and top-of-line faucets. These mind-blowing designs also include heating and cooling systems in the homes. The best feature of this accommodation is that it's movable and can be transported in a Tesla car. Elon Musk has made a perfect house, which seems impossible with the listed specs. But Musk is making the dream come through, and it will hit the mainstream market soon. The whole plan started when Musk started clearing out his real estate portfolio. In May 2020, he announced that he would own no house and pledged to sell all of his real estate portfolio. This was after he said he wanted to focus more of his efforts on his mission to Mars. No one believed him at first because his property portfolio was worth about $174 million. But Musk started to grab attention when he sold his first home, the Bel Air Colonial Mansion, in June 2020. And five months later, he moved on to sell Gene Wilder's former homes. 
By December of the same year, he shocked everyone with the sale of one of his most extensive properties on his portfolio, his four Bel Air mansion in Los Angeles to Rye Tavangarian. This sale made everyone interested in where he lives. The search for his home made it the most Googled celebrity home of 2021, with over 1.3 million searches globally. His home was found to be a $50,000 home he bought from Boxable called the Casita. This sustainable home with its peculiar details formed the basis of the entire idea for the Tesla home. The specifications were very similar and led to the summary that the houses are manufactured just like every other product one can buy and it will be shipped to a designated location and quickly set up within an hour. You fold the outer wall to become the floor, then the two side door walls also become visible. The roof is unfolded and the entire structure is covered. The home is like a studio apartment in a box designed for one or two people to live in. It's environmentally friendly and energy efficient. This makeshift house has five rooms, including a kitchen, a bathroom, a living room, a bedroom, and a media room. The house also comes with air conditioning heating, a dishwasher, an oven, a refrigerator, a built-in ironing center, a microwave, a washer, and a dryer. The house's non-degradable nature comes from being built out of steel concrete and EPS foam. All these similarities made a group of people conclude that Elon based his idea for a sustainable home on the boxable casita he was living in. But that wasn't the case. Elon Musk has been dabbling in real estate ventures for some time. He had revealed his intentions to purchase at least 20 additional homes in Porter, Texas, with the plan to infuse Tesla's technology into these homes. His swift move into real estate was to equip homes with Tesla's cutting-edge technology and create tech-infused living spaces. The application of Tesla's technology to homes was the basis of the idea for Tesla's home. He was driven by the desire to achieve a strong technological advancement, living through wind power and portable building to embark on the project. Before this project came into reality, he collaborated with other housing companies. Musk partnered with Allet, a real estate company, so he could include his technological intentions in residential development, increasing his growing interest in sustainable housing further. Musk's idea wasn't well received at first, because people wondered if including advanced technology in their homes wouldn't take away the comfort of the overall space. However, he clarified that these inclusions could redefine how home harnesses energy, thus creating a more eco-friendly living, which has been the slogan of Musk, and his boxable home is proof of that. With Musk's endorsement of this tiny home, the market interest in the sustainable house has gone up. Boxable has overwhelming demand with over 40,000 orders and a long wait list. These homes, the first of many such strong housing system developments, were created to change the living space. With a token of $50,000 Boxable offers, financing options connecting aspiring homeowners with financing partners. However, the Boxable can't be compared to Tesla homes due to Musk's deep commitment to preserve the environment. The entire concept of the test Tesla home is based on eco-friendliness. The carbon emissions that primarily contribute to the escalation of climate change have been removed from Tesla homes. What causes these discharges is linked to coal oil and gas combustion for energy generation has been removed and replaced with clean energy. In Tesla homes, it replaces non-renewable power with renewable one from sunlight wind, moving air, and geothermal heat. Another notable benefit is the inclusion of Tesla's manufactured equipment. The Tesla home derived its name from the pivotal feature of the Tesla power battery. The home is equipped with a power wall and rechargeable lithium battery designed to consume solar energy, reducing reliance on traditional solar panels. They can ensure the seamless operation of household appliances because they store excess solar power during power outages. The power wall maintains a consistent power supply within the tiny house. Despite the immense benefit of this home, 
it might be a massive challenge to take on the mainstream market. And for such housing, the competition in the industry is becoming stiff with prefabricated housing other than boxable springing up. Companies like Factory Built Homes, Mod Wood, Living Homes, Tiny Homes, Contemporary Homes, Modern Homes, and Wee House have begun saturating the market with pre-built homes. Also, Elon's inventions and projects weren't initially always well-received right from his startup days. Let's take a look at some of such startups. Zip2. A prime example is his startup Zip2, a former American technology business formed by Elon Musk between 1995 and 1999, which was his first venture. It offered a searchable business directory that may be regarded as an internet version of the Yellow Pages telephone directory, complete with maps. Musk came up with the notion of allowing computer users to find local companies at a time when computers were not widely available. He enlisted his brother, Kimball Musk, and a friend, Gregory Khoury, as partners. Musk got Navtech, a producer of electronic navigable maps, to offer him free mapping software after purchasing a CD containing a company directory in 1995. He then created the code required to connect the two databases, business listing, and map together. Musk described the company's objective as ensuring that everyone can discover and navigate to the nearest pizza parlor. Musk and his associates lived in their workplace to cut costs after failing to persuade possible investors to fund them. The company grew its listing by enticing businesses to pay for inclusion, and after about a year, in early 1996, more Davidow Ventures decided to invest approximately $3 million in Zip2 in exchange for controlling ownership. In addition, Musk was replaced as CEO by Richard Sorkin, a more experienced businessman, while remaining executive vice president and chief technology officer. Under Sorkin, Zip2 began to provide its platform to newspapers, allowing them to develop local directories for their online subscribers. The New York Times was among the first customers, and many other large newspapers and newspaper chains soon followed. Zip2 has expanded to include an arts and leisure guide, as well as directories for various company categories at that point. However, Musk disagreed with Sorkin's business policies. When Sorkin prepared for Zip2 to merge with City Search, which offered a comparable service, Musk staged a revolt and convinced the board of directors to dismiss Sorkin as CEO. Sorkin was succeeded by Derek Proudian. Zip2 was purchased for $307 million by Compaq Computer Corporation in 1999, and it became a unit of Compaq's recently acquired search engine, AltaVista. Zip2's online city guides expanded AltaVista's offerings to include local information. PayPal. PayPal, an American e-commerce corporation founded in March 2000, specializes in internet money transfers. It was widely utilized by eBay, the internet auction corporation that owned PayPal from 2002 to 2015. PayPal was the result of a merger between X.com and Confinity, and it allowed customers to make payments for acquired goods or swap money between accounts in a secure online transaction. PayPal was acquired for $1.5 billion by online marketplace behemoth eBay in October 2002, after it had become the preferred choice of internet auction shoppers. The company allows users to connect their PayPal accounts to their bank accounts, making transfers and payments more efficient than money orders or checks. eBay collects fees on certain transactions, which are determined by the quantity, nature, and currency type of the transaction. PayPal was spun off as a standalone firm in 2015 although it is still used by eBay. A smart sequence of security upgrades helped PayPal maintain its reputation for preventing identity theft. The corporation introduced superior anti-phishing and anti-hacking methods, and also created a portable key gadget that required manual activation before a transfer from a PayPal account was performed. PayPal allows customers to protest and request refunds on transactions in which they have been misled or deceived. PayPal also provides some safety for merchants, 
including a system that deactivates accounts when suspicious or excessive behavior is detected. SpaceX SpaceX, an American aerospace corporation formed in 2002, helped usher in the era of commercial spaceflight. It was the first commercial firm to successfully launch and return a spacecraft from Earth orbit, as well as the first to launch and dock a crewed spacecraft with the International Space Station. The headquarters are in Hawthorne, California. Elon Musk founded SpaceX to change the aerospace industry and make inexpensive spaceflight a reality. The corporation made its debut with the Falcon 1 rocket, a two-stage liquid-fueled ship designed to launch small satellites into orbit. The Falcon 1 cost significantly less to develop and operate than its competitors, which were mostly spacecraft built by publicly owned and government-funded firms like Lockheed Martin and Boeing. The SpaceX developed Merlin engine, which is less expensive than those used by other companies, contributed to the rocket's low cost. SpaceX has concentrated on developing reusable rockets. Other launch vehicles are typically designed for single use. In March 2006, SpaceX launched its first Falcon 1 rocket, which began successfully but ended abruptly due to a fuel leak and fire. By this point, however, the business had already made millions of dollars in launch orders, many of which came from the United States government. In August of that year, SpaceX won a NASA competition for funds to design and demonstrate spacecraft capable of servicing the International Space Station after the space shuttle was decommissioned. Falcon 1 flights failed to reach Earth orbit in March 2007 and August 2008, but in September 2008, SpaceX became the first privately held business to launch a liquid-fueled rocket into space. Three months later, it secured a NASA contract for over $1 billion to service the ISS. SpaceX launched its Falcon 9, a larger craft named after its nine engines, in 2010, and the following year broke ground on a launch site for the Falcon Heavy, a craft the company hoped would be the first to break the $1,000 per pound to orbit cost barrier and could one day be used to transport astronauts into deep space. In December 2010, the business achieved another milestone by becoming the first commercial corporation to launch a spacecraft, the Dragon capsule, and safely return it to Earth. Dragon made history again on May 25, 2012, when it became the first commercial spaceship to dock with the International Space Station and safely transfer cargo. In August of that year, SpaceX revealed that it had been awarded a contract by NASA to construct a successor to the Space Shuttle for astronaut transportation into space. The Falcon 9's first stage was planned to be reusable. In 2015, a Falcon 9 first stage successfully landed near its launch site. Beginning in 2016, SpaceX began deploying drone ships to land rocket stages. A rocket stage that had landed on Earth was successfully reused in a 2017 launch. That same year, a Dragon capsule was reused for a journey to the International Space Station. The Falcon Heavy rocket had its first test flight in 2018. Two of the three first stages successfully landed, while the third crashed into the water near the drone ship. That Falcon Heavy did not carry a satellite, but instead launched a Tesla Roadster into orbit around the sun with a mannequin in a spacesuit belted into the driver's seat. The Falcon Heavy's first operational flight took place on April 11, 2019. In 2019, SpaceX began launching satellites for their Starlink Mega Constellation, which offers satellite internet connectivity. A Falcon 9 mission launches around 50 Starlink satellites at a time. As of 2023, Starlink had 3,660 operational satellites, accounting for half of all active satellites in orbit. The U.S. Federal Communications Commission has allowed an additional 7,500 satellites, and SpaceX plans to have 29,988 satellites orbiting between 340 and 614 kilometer, 211 and 381 miles above Earth. The first crewed flight of a Dragon capsule to the ISS began on May 30, 2020. 
with astronauts Doug Hurley and Robert Behnken. SpaceX also unveiled the Super Heavy Starship System, which was initially known as the BFR, Big Falcon Rocket, and will succeed the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. The Super Heavy first stage would be able to carry 100,000 kilogram and 220,000 pounds into low Earth orbit. The payload would be the Starship, a spacecraft planned for a variety of reasons, including enabling rapid transportation between cities on Earth and establishing bases on the Moon and Mars. SpaceX intended to utilize the Starship in 2023 for a voyage around the Moon with Japanese businessman Maizawa Yusaku and several artists, as well as flights to land astronauts on the Moon as part of NASA's Artemis program and eventually to launch settlers to Mars. Taking over transportation with Tesla Musk had long been interested in the possibilities of electric cars, and in 2004, he became a key investor in Tesla Motors, later renamed Tesla, an electric car startup created by entrepreneurs Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening. Tesla unveiled their first vehicle, the Roadster, in 2006. It could go 245 miles and 394 kilometers on a single charge. Unlike most prior electric vehicles, which Musk considered stodgy and unattractive, it was a sports car that could accelerate from 0 to 60 mph and 97 km per hour in less than 4 seconds. In 2010, the company's initial public offering raised around $226 million. Two years later, Tesla released the Model S sedan, which received high praise from automotive journalists for its performance and design. The brand received additional recognition for its Model X premium SUV, which hit the market in 2015. The Model 3, a less priced vehicle, entered production in 2017 and became the best-selling electric vehicle of all time. Dissatisfied with the projected cost of $68 billion for a high-speed rail system in California, Musk proposed the Hyperloop, a pneumatic tube in which a pod carrying 28 passengers would travel 350 miles and 560 kilometers between Los Angeles and San Francisco in 35 minutes at a top speed of 760 miles and 1,220 km per hour, nearly the speed of sound. Musk said that the Hyperloop would cost under $6 billion and that, with pods departing every two minutes on average, the system could transport the 6 million people that travel that route each year. However, he indicated that due to the demands of overseeing SpaceX and Tesla, he was unable to commit time to Hyperloop research. X, formerly Twitter. Musk joined the social media platform Twitter in 2009, and as at Elon Musk, he became one of the site's most popular accounts, with over 85 million followers as of 2022. He expressed concerns about Tesla's public listing, and in August 2018, he tweeted about taking the business private for $420 per share, claiming that he had secured funding. The value of $420 was interpreted as a satirical reference to April 20th, a day observed by cannabis enthusiasts. The next month, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission sued Musk for securities fraud, claiming that the tweets were false and misleading. Shortly later, Tesla's board rejected the SEC's proposed settlement, allegedly because Musk had threatened to resign. However, the announcement sent Tesla shares plunging and a tougher agreement was eventually reached. Its terms included Musk standing down as chairman for three years while remaining CEO. His tweets had to be pre-approved by Tesla lawyers, and both Tesla and Musk were fined $20 million. Musk criticized Twitter's adherence to free speech ideals in light of the company's content moderation procedures. According to Twitter's SEC filings from early April 2022, Musk purchased more than 9% of the company. Shortly after, Twitter announced that Musk would join the firm's board, but Musk declined and instead made an offer for the entire company for $44 billion or $54.20 per share. Twitter's board approved the acquisition, making him the sole owner of the company. 
Musk's goals for the startup include enhancing the product with new features, making the algorithms open source to increase trust, defeating spam bots, and authenticating all humans. Musk said in July 2022 that he was abandoning his bid, citing Twitter's failure to disclose sufficient information concerning both accounts and the company's material breach of multiple provisions of the acquisition agreement. Brett Taylor, the head of Twitter's board of directors, reacted, saying the business was committed to closing the transaction on the price and terms agreed upon with Mr. Musk. Twitter sued Musk to compel him to buy the firm. In September 2022, Twitter shareholders voted to accept Musk's offer. Faced with a court struggle, Musk went forward with the transaction, which was completed in October. Musk's first acts as Twitter's owner were laying off about half of the firm and allowing individuals to purchase blue checkmark verification for $8 per month, something Twitter had previously conferred to important figures. In addition, he dismantled Twitter's content moderation body and reinstated several banned accounts, including former U.S. President Donald Trump's, which had been suspended following the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol. Advertising revenue plummeted as many brands pulled their ads from the platform. Musk changed the company's name from Twitter to X in July 2023. The modification resulted in tweets becoming posts. Starlink Satellite SpaceX operates Starlink, a satellite internet system that covers more than 70 nations. It also plans to provide global mobile phone service after 2023. SpaceX began launching Starlink satellites in 2019. As of early January 2024, there are about 5,289 mass-produced tiny satellites in low Earth orbit that connect with specified terrestrial transceivers. There are plans to install about 12,000 satellites, with the possibility of increasing to 42,000 later. SpaceX announced that it will reach more than 1 million subscribers in December 2022, 1.5 million in May 2023, and 2 million in September 2023. Starlink played a significant role in the Russia-Ukrainian war. The SpaceX Satellite Development Facility in Redmond, Washington, houses the Starlink research, development, manufacturing, and orbit control facilities. In May 2018, SpaceX predicted that planning, building, and deploying the constellation would cost at least $10 billion. Starlink provides service in over a million sites worldwide, including all seven continents. However, the fledgling internet provider continues to face a backlog of prospective customers who have yet to get equipment and begin service. Starlink isn't without controversy. For starters, members of the scientific community have expressed concern about the rising influence of Starlink's low Earth orbit satellites on nighttime vision. Meanwhile, satellite internet competitors such as Viasat, HughesNet, and Amazon's Project Kuiper have noted Starlink's success, sparking regulatory scrutiny and attempts to slow Musk down. For example, Dish has criticized Starlink, claiming that 5G extensions in the 12 GHz band might interfere with its satellite broadcasts. In August 2022, over two years after Starlink obtained roughly $885.5 million in grant monies from the Federal Communications Commission, the FCC reversed that decision and canceled Starlink subsidies, stating that the service failed to meet program requirements. FCC Chairwoman Jessica Rosenworcel states that we cannot afford to subsidize ventures that are not delivering the promised speeds or are unlikely to meet program requirements, while also acknowledging that Starlink's technology has real promise. The Starlink website said that it is ideally suited for areas of the world where connectivity has traditionally been a challenge. Unbounded by traditional ground infrastructure, Starlink can deliver high-speed broadband internet to locations where access has been unreliable or completely unavailable. To connect, simply install a tiny satellite dish in your home to receive the signal and send the bandwidth to your network. The company offers a variety of mounting solutions for rooftops, yards, 
and the exterior of your home. The Starlink app for Android and iOS uses augmented reality to assist consumers in selecting optimal receiver locations and positions. Starlink service is available in select parts of the United States, Canada, and worldwide. And according to a May post on the company's official Twitter account, it already has over 1.5 million members. Expect the coverage map to expand as more satellites join the constellation. Starlink intends to eventually blanket the entire planet with acceptable, high-speed Wi-Fi signals, including those for moving vehicles and in-flight Wi-Fi. What are your opinions on this new technology invention? Leave them in the comment section and also like and subscribe for more exciting stories.